Hi guys and welcome to the M24 and PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. Today we're going to take a closer look at one of the best sniper rifles in the game. We will check out the stats, the attachments, the damage model and I will compare it with the Car 98 k and the SKS. The M24 Sniper Weapon System is the military and police version of the Remington Model 700 rifle. M24 being the model name assigned by the United States Army after adoption as their standard sniper rifle in 1988. The M24 is referred to as a weapon system because it consists not only of a rifle but also a detachable telescopic sight and other accessories. The M24 has pretty good stats in player known battlegrounds. It has an amazing power rating of 77. The only guns that have a higher power rating are the shotguns and the AWM. The range rating is 96 and that is the second highest rating in the game. The stability is 32, which is ok, but in the world of sniper rifles it has the lowest stability rating, but the difference is relatively small. As you know, the firing rate for a sniper rifle isn't particularly good, so don't expect any miracles. But then again the firing rate of 6 is pretty good for a sniper rifle. Only the Car 98 k is worse, with a firing rate of only 5. The M24 uses the 7.62mm cartridge and it has 5 bullets in one magazine. As always, you can increase these stats by using the right attachments. The cheek pad for a Car 98 k the M24 and an AWM reduces the recoil kick and sway. The flash hider for sniper rifles eliminates the muzzle flash and it slightly reduces horizontal and vertical recoil. The compensator for sniper rifles slightly reduces the horizontal recoil and it reduces the vertical recoil. In other words, the compensator has a bigger effect on the vertical recoil but it doesn't hide the muzzle flash. You can also attach a suppressor for a sniper rifle. And the great thing about the suppressor is that it doesn't have any negative effects. It does not affect the damage. You can attach an extended magazine which increases the firing rate. The time it takes to fire two bullets stays exactly the same, no matter what. But you will have more bullets in one magazine, so over a longer period of time you will be able to fire more bullets. You can even increase this statistic further by attaching an extended quick draw magazine for an M24, an AWM and an SKS. It increases the reload speed and the magazine capacity. The effect of the increased magazine capacity is the same as when you attach a normal extended magazine, but the effect of the increased reload speed increases the firing rate statistic further with an extra 20%. Again, you won't be able to fire two bullets faster, but because you can now reload faster, you can now fire more bullets over a longer period of time. On top of these two magazines, you can also attach a standard quick draw magazine. The armor stats are pretty straightforward for the M24. You will need two body shots to kill your next victim. You will need one headshot to kill that same guy if he is wearing a level 2 helmet or less. And you will need to fire one extra shot if he is wearing the best helmet in the game. Let's compare the M24 with the Car 98 k and the SKS so that we can see which one is best. The Car 98 k has a power rating of 66, the SKS has a rating of 50 and as you can see that is not good enough to beat the M24. You will see a similar pattern when we compare the range. The Car 98 k has 80, the SKS has 64, but the M24 has a rating of 96. All of this changes when you look at the stability and the firing rate. 34 versus 48 versus 32. So the SKS is a lot better in this regard. And this trend continues. The Kark 98 k has a slow firing rate of only 5. The M24 does slightly better with 6. And then there is the SKS with a firing rate of 32. A massive difference. The M24 is a great sniper rifle. The only problem is getting your hands on it. You can't just pick it up. You will never find it lying around somewhere in some remote building or anything like that. The only two ways of getting your hands on the M24 is to pick it up from an airdrop or to steal it out of the cold dead hands of your enemy who picked it up from an airdrop. You will have to chase the airplane in order to increase your chances of adding the M24 to your loadout. Most of the time you will end up with an M249 and an M24 which is a pretty powerful combination. I even managed to get my hands on the M24 and the AWM at the same time. But I will show you how I did that in the video for the AWM. I will bring back the stats for the different levels of body armor and I will highlight the main differences. The first thing that you will notice is that they all need two body shots to kill an enemy who wasn't lucky enough to find any kind of armor. This number stays constant for the M24 but it changes for the other two rifles. The changeover point for the Car 98 k is when your enemy is wearing the highest level of body armor. And the changeover point for the SKS is when he is wearing level 1 or higher. That is probably the easiest way to remember. You will see a similar pattern for headshots. So they all need one headshot to kill if your enemy isn't wearing a helmet. 
The M24 and the Car 98K will need two bullets when your enemy is wearing a level 3 helmet, and the SKS will need two bullets from the moment that your enemy is wearing a level 1 helmet. It's relatively easy to lead your target with the M24 and an 8x scope. In the video about all the different scopes, you saw that the mill dots on an 8x scope are pretty much useless for long range kills. The mill dots on the left and the right side, on the other hand, are perfect for a sniper rifle. These markings make it super easy for you to lead your target. Most of us haven't been able to play a lot with the M24. Usually our time with the weapon is limited and we don't chase the airplane every time we play this game. So my best advice is to use the practice shot method. Fire one bullet so that you know which correction you should apply. Usually this coincides with one of the mill dots on the left or the right side. In this case it was the second one on the right that I needed. But unfortunately I managed to hit the metal bar right in front of me. I adjusted my position, reacquired my target, aimed with the second dot on the right and then I got the kill. Because I knew that this guy already took some damage because somebody else started shooting at him first. The M24 is a great sniper rifle. It can deal a lot of damage to your enemies and most of the time you will only need two headshots to kill. You have all the information that you need to dominate the battlegrounds with your shiny new M24. Good luck chasing the airplanes and while you're here, why not check out one of these videos. As you know, the YouTube likes and shares are very helpful to me. If you think that this video is worthy, would you mind taking a moment to like this video and to share it with all your buddies. This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching and I will see you in Battlegrounds.